Good evening and happy midweek PIC. Before we start with our singing, shall we all pray? Let's pray. Our great God, Heavenly Father, we praise you and thank you for this day, for we have gathered together to worship your name. Lord, I pray that as we sing praises unto thy name, may your name be lifted high, and may your angels be with us. Thank you, Lord, for loving us, and thank you for hearing and answering our prayer. This I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. For our first song, let us sing Jesus Saves in hymn number 225. 225. next song let us sing stand up stand up for jesus in on hymn number 431 431 
our opening song, shall we all stand and sing, To God Be the Glory. Before we talk to the Most Holy One, to our God, first uh, allow me to read in the Bible, and it is found in the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 5, verse 1 and verse 6. I'll be reading in a New International Version, and it says here that, Guard your steps when you go to the house of God. Go not to listen rather than to offer the sacrifice of fools who do not know that they do wrong. So what is trying to emphasize this verse is that when we are here inside this church, we should be what? We should be watchful, be careful of what we are doing here because this is the house of God. So in verse 6, do not let your mouth lead you into sin. Let me read again. Do not let your mouth lead you into sin, and do not protest to the temple messenger, my vow was a mistake. Why should God be angry at what you say and destroy your work of your hands? My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, the Holy Spirit has two favor in our, in you and me tonight. The first one is to shut up your mouth 
to the things or the, to any conversation that not pleases God. And the second one is to get your phone, any gadgets that you have now, and turn it off, shut it off, because one of my observations during worship, especially in prayer, that is, there's phone always ringing, and it's so very annoying, so very destructive. So I'll give you a time to get your phone and turn it off. So please cooperate, because this is not me who talking you, but it is the Holy Spirit. It is God. So it is not me that you rejected, but it's God. So I'll give you a time in five, four, three, two, one. Shall we bow down as we pray? Let's pray. Father God in heaven, who made the heaven and the earth, our creator and our redeemer, precious Lord, let your name be praised, be glorified here on earth just as it is in heaven. Lord, with all of our hearts, we thank you. With all of our hearts, oh God, we love you. Thank you so much for your son, who Jesus Christ sacrificed himself for us to have our salvation. Lord, how amazing it is to realize that you love us constantly. You love us limitless. Father God in heaven, as we start to praise you, to worship you this evening, I pray for your Holy Spirit to be with us, to dwell each of us, to clean our hearts, mind, and souls so that we will be acceptable at your sight. Lord, we come we come boldly into your presence in this evening, not because we are worthy, but because worthy is the lamb that was slain. So Lord, please accept this humble prayer. Please accept our, our worship this evening. And I pray in a special way to those who have part this evening, especially to render the testimonies. Lord, help them. Give them a knowledge and wisdom and anoint their lips so that every word that going to speak, it is not their own knowledge, but it is your will. Lord, thank you so much for love us. Thank you so much for loving us, even if uh, we are not deserving of it. And forgive us, Lord, for all of our sins. Have mercy on us, O God. And this is all I pray in the name of my love, my sweetheart, my creator and my redeemer, Jesus Christ. Amen. Good evening, church. Once again, good evening, church. Happy midweek. Tell the world, Jesus is coming. Praise the Lord. Yes, we believe as a church that we exist because of our mission. And without the mission of the church, our church is useless. And that mission is to tell the world the gospel to all the nations that Jesus Christ came on this earth and he died because of you and me and he is about to return for all the believers this evening i would like to welcome you all to our worship this to our to our worship service this evening our worship service this evening is i should say that it is special in reason that we'll be having our voice of prophecy graduation and we have here in front of us the students who will be graduating this evening and we praise the lord for them because they finished the 24 lessons of voice of prophecy lesson 
So this evening, our program is handled by the Voice of Prophecy Committee under the evangelism of our church, the Philippine International Church. So I hope and pray, my brothers and sisters, that as we worship the, as we worship the Lord this evening, may we intune our hearts and mind so that we can focus ourselves to the message that will be coming from the Lord. Once again, I will be um, reading what Joyce Mayer said, God has planted greatest in you. Let today be the beginning of a great adventure as you step into the gifts He's given you. My dear brothers and sisters, I believe that each one of us receive different gifts from the Lord. So I hope that the, those gifts that we receive from God will be used for the finishing of the gospel of, or the work that, each, that God has entrusted to each one of us. Once again, welcome and may God bless us all.
Good evening, brothers and sisters. It is my humblest privilege to share what God had taught me and made me experience in the ministry of voice of prophecy. And may his name be praised for all the things that he had done. As I continue my testimony that I will share to you, may I invite everyone with me to please bow their heads as we come to the Lord and seek his blessing into prayer. Gracious Father in heaven, we believe, dear Lord, that your angels, and so are you, are rejoicing with us in this celebration that we had of the graduation of the students of the voice of prophecy that you have entrusted each one to do. Dear God, we ask, dear Lord, that only the things that you have done would be seen, knowing that the testimony of Jesus Christ would be the one that would be seen and would be glorified. Oh, Father, please hid me behind the shadow of thy cross. I'm just a sinner in need of a Savior. May everyone be blessed this night. This we ask in the loving name of Jesus. Amen. So, my dear brethren, answering the book of the manual was my first time. Yet I have already seen it before and have neglected it. What made me motivate in answering this book is because it was required to do as a master guide training. But most and foremost, because I have to teach it in my junior pastorship. <laughs> that's, my, that's why I did the Voice of Prophecy lesson book. While these are the motivation that I have, yet doing it for the glory of God, back in my mind was that I'm too lazy to study it as a theology student. It was my pride not to learn and rather study other words in the Bible. Yet, I have decided in the end that I have to do it. So while answering the first lesson, I have realized, brothers and sisters, that I'm very lack of knowledge and make me sleep in the guidelines to find the answers. <laughs> so I realized that I really, so I realized that really I am to study it and God even gave me some bonus message that I could learn and use in preaching and make me understand more of who God is and made me realize the importance of learning our doctrines. I have enjoyed more on sharing it in our Bible in Sampagita Hall together with Kuya Mon and Kuya Rison. Uh, this and with Brother Parena as of right now. This motivated me to keep studying it and share it. And in fact, they are here tonight. Uh, they're sitting there. Uh, Zoe, Jean, Alisa, Rovi, Heather. They're all there. <laughs> This motivated me to keep on studying it and share it. By doing this, God made me happy on every, on seeing the souls, learning the truth that everyone needs upon this end time. So for me, learning it is not a waste of time, but is very vital for all to know. Brothers and sisters, in this time of the last days, God have entrusted us a pure holy truth 
that we are to know and live. We would never know where and why we stand on our beliefs without the Word of God as our foundation. It is vital that every member of the Church should give an answer to every question of the non-believers who had been deceived by the snares of Satan. God is able to guide us into all truth if we would cast down our prides and seek to learn of Him. There is a lot more joy in seeking to learn and share it to others than learning things that we could learn in the ways of the world. I am encouraging everyone, whether you are a Seventh-day Adventist or not, to know to take the voice of prophecy, to grasp the pure doctrine of God, to be ready at His soon second coming throughout eternity. May God bless us all. So good evening, everyone. Happy midweek. I was supposed to join the Master Guide Training, or MGT, when I was in grade 11 last year. But due to some conflicts with my schedule, I only decided to try it this year. A few weeks ago, a Master Guide approached me. If I could deliver a testimony this evening, at first, I declined it. It is hard for me to speak on stage. But then he kept on telling me to speak, and at the end, I said yes. Little did I know that he already informed my father. And the funny part was, I was, to, I was about to ask him to decline it. Instead, my father gave me a words of encouragement that is, it is high time for me to share my experiences. The Master Guide gives us a questionnaire booklet that is entitled The Voice of Prophecy. They said that it is required for us MGTs to submit it. I know that I already answered one before, but the problem is, I lost it. And so I need to answer another book again. And so I answered two booklets already. Last summer, I had the privilege of working in a beverage shop in Solenad called 18 Days. A curious customer asked me, why is it, why is it that Seventh-day Adventists are keeping the Sabbath? I told him, that customer, about their stand in keeping the Sabbath day. Then the same customer gave a follow-up question. He asked, What is the difference of keeping the Sabbath and choosing any day of the week? I answered him, What the Bible is telling us about keeping the Sabbath that is found in Exodus chapter 20, verses 9 to 10. That is, six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, maidservant, nor thy cattle and stranger that is within thy gates. After hearing my answer, he was delighted. On that same day, before answering the customer's question about the Sabbath, I was answering my VOP booklet and read the topic about keeping the Sabbath. And that was the experience wherein the Lord 
prepared me and used me as an instrument in sharing the truth about Sabbath keeping of the Seventh-day Adventists. And I would like to invite everyone and encourage you to read VOP to encounter the experience in the depth of learning about the love of Jesus that we need to share to all the, the people that we are able to interact every day.
loneliness, emptiness, sadness, and discouragement. Yes, there's a happiness, but no satisfaction. That's my life, a terrible one. Accepting God in service and si is simply accept accepting the crown of life. Let us pray. Bow our head. A grateful and compassionate, loving Heavenly Father, we are grateful and blessed with the Holy Spirit that whispered us to praise a holy name. Father, we have our own stories. You made it well. Father, my inspired them as a maid by the Father above. Thank you for unconditional love. Amen. Good evening, PIC. God is good all the time. Amen. President Digong once told, change is coming. Yes, believing in God will exchange. My story is not typical we heard in Bible stories, but it's have similarities, hope. Before anything else, I am Jeffrey de Guzman, a freshman student from College of Business, taking Bachelor of Science in Information Technology, Way back 2010, when my mother died, there's my story began. I went to Manila to sustain the needs of my family and to forget the past of my past. I became a breadwinner of our families the pressure and responsibility was carried by me. I was tired doing this responsibility. It seems there's no ending. I couldn't find a happiness. Until one day, I met randoms of people who led me in the road of happiness. Later on, the responsibility was erased in my priorities and changed it into the worldly things. Alcohol, bar, girls. Yes, I experienced all of them. Enjoyed my life doing the things until my life was out of path. I was in the left side instead in the right side. I accept my life now has now no direction. No lights, no one cares, no one believes in me. My life is full of darkness and hope I miss it every day. Until one day I shock my call by call. My friend is calling. I don't have any idea why he was calling. As a good friend, I called the phone. I am speechless when he began to speak. Jeff, I know you want to study. I know you are dreaming big to your family. Come with AUP. It is hard to decide, but willingness will find the way. Those words rose my heart. There is still someone who loves me and loves me and cares for me. After we had our talk, I feel the excitement and happiness. Why he knows 
we don't have any communications the day of our graduation in high school. And then God works He used my friend to introduce the right way, the AUP. To make the long story short, I process all the requirements in food service department. Open the door of opportunity, they offered me a work scholar. It's hard me to adjust my life before because of the withdrawal syndrome, people in EUP are all decent. The only things I always heard, God bless bro, bro God bless. Instead of bro is in case, tagay daman tayo dyan. I satisfied, I was amazed. There are still people is existing, existing like you. until my subconscious told me to study personality every people I am encountering. Inside the campus, for me to be easy to adjust. For the first week, I couldn't bear with you until hope searched me. When I were introduced, me the book, The Voice of Prophecy. I was a little bit curious with the book. I accepted and I started to read and suddenly I got interested. I insist to study the book with my monitor and I was ashamed. With myself, I don't have any learning the book, but luckily, monitor and I was a ship. With myself, I don't have any learning. Our monitor, LG Auman, offered his knowledge after quiet sometimes of studying. God showed me the light. God gave me a second life. Yes, we need to repent. I need to repent. God uses things and persons for me to show that cares for me. He created me with love and he is offering for a new hope. First call, when my friend called me and introduced AUP. Second call, the book that opens the door of realizations for me. And the third call is the acceptance. From the darkness of my life, I found out a God willing to embrace who I am. It's time for me to answer those who, for those who call from above. So God, I am dedicating myself. I know I don't have much knowledge in his word, but the guidance of the Holy Spirit I will be learned. Brethren, always remember, from the book of 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9, but you are not like that, for you are chosen people. Are you royal first, a holy nation? God's every own possessions, a result you can show others and godness of God. For he called you out of the darkness into his wonderful light. He called you out the darkness, and so I am. God bless. Happy midweek once again.
may I request all of the candidates for graduation for VOP to stand. All of the candidates for um, graduation for VOP. Kindly stand. Those who are at the back, those who are candidates for VOP graduation, kindly stand and you can come here in front. Okay? Pastor Ray, I'd like to present to you 121 um, candidates for VOP graduation to be uh, to graduate tonight. Praise the Lord for this uh, 121 candidates for graduation. On behalf of Central Luzon Conference of Seventh-day Adventist Church, I am now confirming you, graduates for Voice of Prophecy Correspondent Bible Lesson or Study. And the church is glad this evening I know that you were so busy for these past months and weeks and maybe days, but you responded to the invitation through Voice of Prophecy Correspondent uh, Bible Lesson, and I know that you learned many things out of your encounter with God through that Bible Lesson or uh, voice of prophecy lesson. And it is always our prayer as a church that as you nurture your faith while you are here in this university, all the knowledge and wisdom that you are earning while we are here in this campus will serve as your strong foundation in your faith wherever you go. That's why tonight, on behalf of Philippine International Church, congratulations, graduates. Before we give the certificate, we would like to read the citation. Voice of Prophecy Central Luzon Conference. This certifies that is a graduate of, of Voice of Prophecy Bible Correspondent School and has completed satisfactory and prescribed course. In witness wherefore, we have affixed our signatures issued at Philippine International Church on this 29th day of November 2017. Signed by Pastor Reynaldo L. Maglipas, PIC Pastor for Evangelism, and Richard R. Embalsado, VOP Coordinator. Here are the list of graduating VOP students. First, Agnes Riziki. Please come here in front. Next, Abasite Summer. Alboris Mylin. Bonghanoi Joylin B. Janko Manilin M.
Mendoza LCM. Kinatadkan Lee Jane D. Castilian Irish C. Castilian Irish C. De la Cruz, Lori Trinidad. De la Cruz, Lori Trinidad. Ramos Jacob. Ramos Jacob. Next, Ramos Jesril. Ramos Jesril. Realisan. Jabel Emerson C. Realisan Jabel Emerson C. Romero Vivian S. Romero Vivian S. Salera Jensen Ryle. Salera Jensen Ryle. Salvador Roberto Jr. Salvador Roberto Jr. Congratulations. Sadikon Blessy S. Sadikon Blessy S. Sanchez Jezreel M. Sanchez Jezreel M. Sedeño Asher James B. Sedeño Asher James B. No magugu minele si banda. No magugu minele si banda. Judith Muehu si Heria. Judith Muejo Sigeria. Edward Sumindap. Edward Sumindap. Chivenga M. Tanatswa. Chivenga M. Tanatswa. Tagapia Veronica D. Tagapia Veronica D. Tangid Pevelin. Tangid Pevelin. Tangid. Tangid Pevelin. Tangub Jekon Yel R. Tangub Jekon Yel R. Vargas Almira. Vargas Almira D. Wala ba? Tangib Pebin. Vasquez Denise Ann M. Vasquez Denis Ann M. Icon Vergara. Icon Vergara. Villarante Jerly May. 
Villarante Girly May A. Niña Jean A. Yare. Niña Jean A. Yare. Zamora Lorivin Jane G. Zamora Lorivin Jane G. Dionzon Nenvi Fame T. Dionzon Nenvi Fame T. Discanso Jonathan C. Discanso Jonathan C. Renalin R. Embalsado. Renalin R. Embalsado. Christine Kate Escolano. Escolano Christine Kate. Espelita Renz Daniel D. Espelita Renz Daniel D. Sorry. Espinosa Alona. Espinosa Alona. Fabregas, Karin Joy J. Fabregas, Karin Joy J. Fabroa Rodel Dave. Fabroa Rodel Dave. Pahutagana Stanley Dave P. Pahutagana Stanley Dave P. Felices Aprilin C. Felices Aprilin C. Fugoso Nympha C. Fugosa Fugoso Nympha C. Gatdula Christopher B. Gatdula Christopher B. Galizon Rica Samantha H. Galizon Rica Samantha H. Gekilian Richie T. Gekilian Richie T. Helia Duga Gilden May M. Helia Duga, Gilden May M. Hippolito, Mary Ann Laarni N. Hippolito, Mary Ann Laarni M. Ilistrus, Ilistrisimo, Herman M. Ilistrusimo, Ilistrisimo. Iping, Pidel S. Iping Fideles. Irader Meril Obri P. Irader Meril Obri P. Julia Wonge Kiongo. Julia Wonge Kiongo. Hagmis Joylin D. Hagmis Joylin D. Lagrada Charmaine B. Lagrada Charmaine B. Ligo Rosemary M. Ligo Rosemary M. Libosada Unica Marie. Libosada Unica Marie. Luanya Christine Rose. Luanya Christine Rose. Luna Marinella L. Luna Marinella L. Makalalad Arlene Joy C. Makalalad Arlene Joy C. Mandawe Marvie C. Mandawe Marvie C. Manongol Hanamay D. 
Manongol Hanim Hana Maydi. Alboris Mylin L. Alboris Mylin L. Alquetas Rizalin R. Alquetas Rizalin R. Andueza Dar Jasmine. Andueza Dar Jasmine. Ano, Ano Nuevo Niño N. Ano Nuevo Niño M. Arrogante Acel L. Arrogante Acel L. Balagtas Johan C. Balagtas Johan C. Balmes Emilio C. Balmes Emilio C. Banyas Reya. I will accept my own certificate. Barnedo Samuel Jr. II. Barrientos Julian M. Barrientos Julian M. Bernil Leia B. Bernil Leia B. Kubay Rimay P. Kubay Rimay P. Bersaba Jessa R. Bersaba Jessa R. Bondad. Jan Anthony, Bondad Jan Anthony, Dano Charlene J, Dano Charlene J, De Guzman Jeffrey G, De Guzman Jeffrey G, Kiruba Nararaj. Dirabia Raj. Dogwe Emmanuel P. Grijalvo Bienvenido S. The Third. Hidalgo Joan Mary Filipinas F. Kim Kun Wu, Kim Kun Wu, Masibag Vermon M, Mirasol John Ray L, Mirasol John Ray L, Mitra Jervilin K F, Mitra Jervilin K F. Briones Ryan G. Kadalig Gerhard A. Cadiz Diover B. Cadiz Diover B. Camo Eloy Salin Y. Camo Eloy Salin. Camariosa Iris. Camariosa Iris. Castro Diana Roslin. Katibong Ajel C. De Almeida Jao. Mapute, Jeremy S. Masangkay, Sheila May B. Mendoza, Maylin C.
and Cube Minio Fabo. And Cube Minio Fabo. Molikara Melsi D. Navalta Bless C. Owasan Hana G. Ojen Francis May L. Oruga Marielle Ann. Pakanan June Mark D. Padohilao Jamaica C. Pahid Bebelin S. We're sorry. Pegarido Beverly C. Pesimo, pesimo, pesimo. Pesimo Andrea. Pesimo Andrea. Italiano Merlin A. Porgara Contad B. Prieto Maria Sofia C. Kinatadkan Anjumar. Kinatadkan, Gian Angel A. Bonghanoy, Joylin B. Ramos, RJ D. Ramos, RJ D. Astehada, Jean A. Galvo, Harleen Gret S. Galvo, Harleen Gret S. Torres, Rovi Paulin E. Torres, Rovi Paulin. Sarabia, Christine May M. Gunyo, Ladel K. A. Gunyo, Ladel K. Albacite, Summer. Albacite, Summer. Romero Joanna Corin S. Ancaja Beatriz Zoe. Marquina Alisa Jerob B. Kedeng Heather Serene P. Juarbal, Trisha P. Juarbal, Trisha P. Agnes Reziki. Agnes Reziki.
Montialto Danmar M. Kinatadkan Lee Jane D. Kinatadkan Lee Jane D. Good evening, everyone. In behalf of the Evangelism Department of Philippine International Church, I would like to appreciate and to say thank you for all of the volunteers and for the video recording uh, through Sir Winwin Pasamba. And to those who are um, teaching the VOP, Voice of Prophecy Lesson, uh, of all those junior and senior pastoral students, and um, to those who are volunteering to check the VOP lesson every Friday, um, those Master Guide also who are um, helping us to prepare for the food. Um, we'd like to thank you also for the VOP officers. Can I request all of the Voice of Prophecy officers to come here in front so that you will be recognized and then next graduation of the Voice of Prophecy here, um, next SEM, you will be um, recognized and some of the students will pass the VOP uh, to you personally. So these are the volunteers and, or the Voice of Prophecy officers. Every Friday we have our meeting and our Bible study. So my associate coordinator of Voice of Prophecy is Joshua Cuevas and Joshua Pat Labosta. And the rest is my um, co-officers. I'll not mention their office anymore. And I would like to thank you for all of your commitment and your sacrifice throughout the training and during the semester. So thank you for your effort and your contribution. And I would like also to thank you for um, the midweek program coordinator headed by Kay Apogan and to our pianist also, Jushane Rizzi Paso and Kent De Los Santos. And most especially, all these things will not be successful if God is not in the midst of all this program. So once again, thank you. And May all of us here will be encouraged to be actively involved or participate upon teaching those who are non-Adventist or Adventist who haven't yet experienced answering VOP in their life since they are baptized. Like me before my experience, when I'm teaching the VOP, I'm also answering so, I would like to encourage you to participate in this kind of program. It's not only the student will be blessed, but you personally who are teaching this VOP lesson, you will also be blessed. And thank you once again. And I would like now to call the song leader as we have our um, closing song. song shall we all rise and sing oh I love Jesus
Before I pray, I would like to ask all the VOP graduates, would you like to promise to God that whatever truth you have learned from this VOP, you would uphold it and you would share it? Can I see your hands? Praise the Lord. Let us bow our heads for a prayer. Our Father in heaven, how great thou art. Glory, majesty, and honor be unto your name. For indeed, Lord, through this voice of prophecy lesson, we have learned more about you, and we have learned to love you more. And thank you for the assurance, Lord, that salvation is free for everybody, and that we could learn from you the more as we continually study your words. And so we pray, dear Father, that these graduates would continue to love the word and to love Jesus. And I pray, dear Lord, that as they have learned more about you, they would have this eagerness to share, more, share you to other people. And I also pray, dear Father, that they would have a heart for mission and a heart for the ministry and service. And I pray, dear Lord, that those who haven't taken the Voice of Prophecy lesson would be encouraged tonight to take it to have that interest in learning more about you through this lesson. Thank you for the assurance, dear Father, that you would dismiss us with your blessing tonight and that you will experience your presence continually. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.